Welcome back. We are in the parking lot here at WISC mm -hmm. TV3. It smells extremely good. Yes, it does. And we are here with Vern Setman and the Malice and Mallards and the Pizza Bus. Yes, the Double Decker Pizza Bus, you bet. So tell us a little bit about this bus. I mean, we were inside a half hour ago with Steve, who's ducking because it's so he's so <laughs> tall. And the bus, even if it's Double Decker, is still not all that tall for him. Yep. But what are you guys serving here? Well, a little bit of everything. You know, it obviously centers around a, a wood-fired, kind of a Neapolitan-style pizza that's ready in about five minutes, which is really a spectacular product and the, the centerpiece of the whole, the whole bus. But we wanted to do a little bit more, really turn it into a kitchen on wheels. So we have an eight-foot uh, hood inside of it. So we have deep fryers, we have grill space, we have a funnel cake maker. Uh, so really the signature items out of the bus on top of the pizza are funnel cakes and our own hand beer battered cheese curds. Now Steve actually used to be the executive chef at the Old Fashioned. Oh, cool. And I don't know about you, but I like their cheese curds. Their cheese and curds so are great. And so he does a, yeah. you know, a, a modified different recipe here for sure, but a great cheese curd that he serves out of here. And actually we'll be bringing it down to uh, Festival Foods Shake on the Lake this weekend down on uh, John Nolan Drive. And so if you haven't been out to a Mallards game yet, but you're coming to the event this weekend, it'll be an opportunity to sneak peek and, and preview some of the food this weekend as well. Do you mind if we walk over a little bit here and, and check out the menu? What the heck is a pigsicle? <laughs> like, like, look at this, pigsicle. A pigsicle, of course, is a slab of bacon wrapped in sliced bacon, dipped in bacon beer batter, and then deep fried. Of course um, it is. Because you need those things, right? I mean, how, how can you have a pizza bus <laughs> without that food item, right? I mean, that's standard offering. Mmm, oh. bacon. <laughs> so apparently in your surveys of your consumers, it was, we need stone fryer pizza and bacon. Yeah, exactly. I mean, <laughs> you can't really go wrong with bacon. You know, it's, it's hard that we don't have bacon on all of our pizzas, you know, so we've had to figure out some different ways to serve bacon for sure. You did, though, it was like a couple of years ago, have that, uh, have the donut burger that yep. had bacon in there as well. Is yep. that coming back we or still, did I miss it? The uh, the bacon glazer cheeseburger, we yeah. still do. It's a, du it's a double cheeseburger with yeah. uh, bacon in between two glazed donuts. Uh, which is a, uh, you know, oh, that's just silly. different, you know. <laughs> yes, it is, a little bit. And, and, you know, we want to have the silly stuff, but we also want to just have the good stuff, you know. Yeah. So if you want to come out and have, a, you know, a 1,000-calorie hamburger, we could probably make that for you. Um, if you want to just come if, out and have a good piece that. of pizza, yeah, you know, open. we've got that as well. I love it. I love it. Steve, how you doing in there? Danica's how you doing? Steve. Making a pizza for oh, he's making a pizza for us. I'm all excited. Right. All right, all, all morning long. Yeah. We're going to be out here with, and, and we will talk about Shake the Lake a little bit later on. That's sure. probably a good idea to talk about that. It's coming up this weekend, the fireworks show that's going to be down on John Nolan. Important stuff. And the Mallards are sponsors of that yep. as well. That's yep. All. Important right. stuff, but for now, from baseball to football, we're talking Tom Brady. He'll appeal his deflate gate suspension with the NFL commissioner today. Yeah, that's one of the things that we're all talking about today. We'll have more on that when News 3 this morning comes right back. Speaking of traffic, all it's, aboard the pizza bus, right? <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> true, I, true. Yeah, so we're, I think we're going to end up top where we in the party area, right? Yes, sir. All right, this is Vern. Steve are here. We're, it's Danica's going to actually make a pizza here. Go you for it. You might not want to taste this one. I, well, I'll, I'm going to trust taste. Steve's going to oversee your, yeah, okay. your production here pretty well. Okay, all right. Which direction do we need to be here? We're going right. to start right here. So we're going to go one little ladle of our uh, DeSavos pizza sauce there, Ooh. right? Those, Steve, if you I can. Got, okay. Do a little extra. Okay. A little, okay. uh, grande cheese, 50 50 cheese blend here, Parmesan, Provolone. Mm. Go heavy on that, too, D. That's good. You're yep, in Wisconsin. Yep, here, here, here. You're in Wisconsin. You, know, you, you can go heavy on that. Come on, you need a little more of that. Come there you on. go. <laughs> Let's be real. Let's be real. <laughs> All right, now we're just going to check it, make sure our dough's sliding real nice so it doesn't stick and fall in the Excellent. oven. Get out of the way here. And then, there we go. Steve, how hot Another. is it in there? Uh, I like to run it anywhere from about 750 degrees to 950, 1,000 wow. degrees, depending on the day, how busy. So it's a little bit warmer than your average oven. It's a little warmer. <laughs> and with, four, little and warmer. with yeah. four other people in this bus, it can get a little toasty here. Right? Yeah, it gets a little toasty, but that's all right. We're, we're all friends. Do you ever have the urge to, like, <laughs> stick a marshmallow in there and make some s'mores? You know, we, we play around. We have uh -huh. a little fun, but, you know, we'll keep that between us. So <laughs> Vern, Vern was saying in the last half hour, though, you used to be the executive chef at the Old Fashioned, so the cheese curds here are pretty good, too? Yeah, we, we, we 
we do some good cheese curds. You know, I don't want to disclose any secrets or anything that uh, you know people might consider proprietary. But uh, how much harder though is it to work in this kind of close quarters? I mean, you know, I mean, I've worked in a lot of kitchens, uh -huh. and uh, no matter the size of the restaurant, usually the kitchen's not so much bigger than this. So uh, it's it's pretty standard, other than the height. Restrictions. <laughs> Except for that, yeah. Yep. So we got about a half minute left, and we yep. wanted to talk about uh, Shake the Light because that's coming up, and, and the Pizza Bus and Mallards are involved in that. Tell us about what's going to happen. So it's this Saturday, June 27th. It opens up at five o'clock. We're going to have live music on the west side of the Monona Terrace yeah. from five until ten. Headliners are Charles Bradley and Shovels and Rope. We're going to have on the east side of the terrace all kinds of inter interesting entertainment from roller derby to unicycling, bike polo exhibitions. The Madison Area Chefs Network is doing a barbecue, offering great food from places like Lake Trois and Four Quarter. Yeah. Um, and on top of that, at 845, we're going to be launching the Human Cannonball, David the Bullet Smith, from John Nolan Drive into Lake Monona. Um, <laughs> oh, she's never done it in his man. life. We're very excited about that. Um, all kinds of fun. It's a and free then, event. And then fireworks. And then fireworks, fireworks at 10 o'clock. Festival Foods fireworks at 10 o'clock. Launched from six barges on Lake Monona, right in front of the Monona Terrace. All right, and the Pizza Bus will be there. Pizza Bus will be there, you all bet. Right. All right, we're going to go up top in this next half hour so Vern and Steve we'll see how Danica did on her pizza it's good in any weather you'll take a look today, I'll eat it if it's not that good yeah today's gonna be a great day though to uh, have a slice yep absolutely especially if it's outside make sure you get your lunch outside as well Hattie's in with the beautiful forecast coming up next